We are the best player in the world. All right, let's uh, let's move on to game three. <laughs> What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another historic brawl video. Today we do have Kalia Zenith Seeker, which is going to be a really fun one. But before we jump into that, I just want to do a quick reminder. If you are not already, please make sure you subscribe. We do have a giveaway going on right now for an Innistrad Midnight Hunt bundle. That is going to end on the 27th, so you've got just over 10 days to do it. Uh, if you do that, not only on YouTube, if you subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter and Discord, uh, you have the absolute best chances to win. So I do want to encourage you, jump on all five of those platforms. It really does make a huge difference. And if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy hanging out with us, give us a like. It would really mean a lot. But let's talk about Kalia. So Kalia Zenith Seeker, a 3-3 three, three for 3 with Flying and Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top six cards of your deck. You can reveal an angel, a demon, and or a dragon card from among them and put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. The idea is very simply to get a bunch of really big power demons and dragons and angels and all kinds of fun stuff with Kalia uh, and hope, hope, uh, that we can do some really crazy stuff. This is a bit of a silly deck. Uh, this one was created, let me make sure I'm crediting who created it, Aquila Naturna. I hope I'm saying that correctly, uh, did create this list. This isn't one that I've tested or even played with yet. So this is this is a brand new experience for us. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of learning today. Definitely a lot of control elements to this one. Uh, and hopefully we can kind of go over the top as well. But it's going to be a really fun time, guys. We're going to jump into 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay. We'll see how long we can get uh, in terms of games. Uh, but it's going to be a really fun time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go ahead and jump into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and I think we can probably keep this. We do only have D Spark, but Day of Judgment. Uh, let's see, who are they playing? Okay, they're playing fairies. So I kind of do want to want to have some uh, removal options here. I'm going to try and keep this. Excuse me, we'll see how it goes. I don't have super high hopes, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. That was not a very good draw. Uh, Blade Wing the Risen, not exactly what we want to see. Uh, now that does help. That helps quite a bit. We're going to leave up this D Spark, even though we obviously don't have a target for it. Uh, guys, as we're jumping into game one and getting this one started, uh, I just want to remind you, well, actually, just for once, tell you, uh, because we haven't actually done this in a while. Um, we're going to be trying to stream. Uh, we, we did a little bit of a test stream yesterday, uh, had a really fun time with it as well. Um, and while we did have some issues, we certainly had a really fun time in general. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's not that. Um, I'm gonna throw this back. I don't know if that's right or not. Um, so we did actually have a little bit of a test stream yesterday. Uh, had a really fun time doing it. A number of you guys showed up and hung out. I don't want to encourage anybody to, like, pay and subscribe right away. As much as I would love to have that, um, I think that because we don't know the stability of the stream and everything, which is why we stopped streaming in the first place, I don't really want to encourage you guys to do that and then something not works. So I'd prefer it if, uh, if you wanted to show up and hang out, please do. Um, but until we've got it stable, which I think we might have gotten there, um, but until we get it stable, we're going to do some more testing today. I don't want to encourage anybody to just straight up sub. Um, it would mean a lot, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to push that. Um, I think we just, like, uh, oh, it's Menace, I can't do that. Um, yeah, I think we just block here. Uh, we might end up de-sparking this. I think we do. I don't particularly want a Wrath of, or Day of Judgment, excuse me, for only a couple things. I feel like that's not necessarily the best, so we'll see. Um, 
Mm, coffee. Really needed coffee this morning. All right. Uh, what can we do? I mean, we can just play Kalia, uh, which seems fairly good. Uh, alternatively, we can Karn, but I think we're just going to Kalia. We're not under a tremendous amount of pressure here. Wow. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, we do have to discard a card here, which is fine-ish. Um, it's actually Spawn. I really like our hand. Uh, Blade Wing might have been a, an option, but that brings stuff back, which is why I kind of wanted to leave it in the hand to the best of our ability. Um, but we'll see. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so they can't get an attack in here for three. I guess they decided not to. Um, interesting. All right, uh, what do we want to do? I mean, we've got plenty of options here, guys. Um, let's see. I mean, we can just straight up Terror of the Peaks. I actually think that's probably the best play, uh, solely because if it does die, we've got Blade Wing coming back down later. I am going to attack for three here. Uh, we need to start dealing a little bit of damage. Kalia has Vigilance anyway. Ah, man. Coffee really makes all the difference in the morning. Um, we'll see what they've got. I'm sure they've got removal, like they have to. Sure. I mean, that makes sense. Um, hopefully we draw a land off the top, maybe. We just kind of need to forward our progress here a little bit. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's scary. Uh, thankfully we have Vraska's Contempt. Um... So this might be a situation where we just Vraska's Contempt, like, hopefully draw land, Vraska's Contempt, and then be done. Alternatively, if we got something like our own little Arcane Signet, that would be kind of nice. Okay, or we get possibly the worst land we could have gotten, um, but that's okay. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and just try and exile this now uh, while they have fewer mana and only one card unknown to us. Um... That's a scary card, so I just want to make sure we're getting that uh, out of there. Let's attack in here. Again, we're going to take a damage. That's fine. Okay. If they want to block and kill their Brazen Borrower, that's fine. Uh, the thing for us that we have to keep in mind here is that killing their stuff is a lot better than them killing our stuff in terms of specifically Kalia. The reason being, it's really not all that great for them to kill Kalia. Um, we get extra activations off of it. So it's like, yeah, sure, go for it. Um, <laughs> we're going to play it like this. Uh, and I think we're just going to Day of Judgment. Let's get all this off the field. Um, I think that's probably just the smartest play at the moment. Uh, they're gonna gain a life, but this stems the bleeding from this little siege more siege more siege war witch, <laughs> the witch, <laughs> um, and also gets this uh, even more pricey. Which one, two, three, four, five? They're so they could have played it uh, or played her, but they're only that's like literally the only thing they could do. Uh, and if they did that, we've got answers with Kaya and things like that. So not super worried about it. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I like that, um, I guess we'll do red, we'll reveal you, uh, I mean, why not, um, so if we do this, we can actually play the Venomous Changeling and then just have doubled up this turn a little bit, uh, which seems decent, I mean, it's not great, but it's a, it's a thing. So, I mean, unless they they could bounce the Terror of the Peaks or get rid of it, which, yeah, fair enough. Uh, but we've got Bladewing to actually bring that back. Uh, so that's kind of the part of keeping Bladewing, I think, was the right call. Because <laughs> um, we can actually just start playing this out here. Um, we do have this Kaya that we can exile some, some in uh, non-land permanent here. So we might actually want to... Uh, Get rid of some stuff but we'll see we'll see one two three four five six seven eight nine so we could do five and four if we would like uh which i think we would we're gonna pay two let's throw a car out there 
Uh, reveal two. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, this is just going to help get cards into our hand, which is great. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to give us the land. This kind of makes the most sense. I guess, truthfully, we should have waited to, to play a land, too, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, they gave us the land. That's fair. Uh, do we Baneslayer? I guess we do. I... Oh, duh. I am silly. Uh, why did we even attack? I'm silly. We uh, So, the Ancient Ziggurat only produces mana for creature spells, uh, which means uh, we couldn't have actually played Kaya, so that was my bad, but that's okay. Guys, it's early. It's early. Don't judge too hard. Also a rainy, like, gross day here. It's kind of sad. But you know what? We're here. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be able to stream today, now that I think about it. Uh, the reason being, uh, the new set drops, uh, I believe, today. Wow. They milled us out. Uh, yeah, nice. You got it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and concede. They 100% milled us out here. How many cards are in their hand? 30. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and drop this. All right, we will uh we'll go ahead and jump into game 2. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, this is a definite keep. Obviously a very uh, interactive hand in terms of creatures, but it looks like these. this is going to be a uh, an angel deck. We've got the Savai Trium. We've got a number of things. We actually can't play Kalia off of this hand, which is kind of interesting. Um, we're going to play this turn one. There's the battlefield. Okay. Uh, so this actually isn't very good off the bat here uh now it's good but it wasn't just a second ago um let's play the guardian idol let's ramp uh a little bit here in the early turns and again fully expecting some angels to come down and potentially wreck us here mono white angels that's potentially very scary um now thankfully we don't necessarily have to target everything wow very good very very good okay uh, hmm. So, we have some options here. Uh, I think the correct thing right now is going to play, be play this. It's going to give haste to the Doom Whisper. We're going to play you. We're going to give it red. And we're going to Mind Stone. Uh, and we're going to get him for a single attack. This is very scary. There is a number of ways that they can infinite uh, this. Is this an angel? No, it's a dragon. Uh, in three or more life. Okay. They may just have it in here for the life gain aspect, but I'm sure they've got like a faceless haven or, you know, something that they can kind of peg that to that would be really, really good. Okay. Uh, we have the answer to that, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to straight up do that. <laughs> Uh, that's a card I don't like to see. Uh, it's just very, very good. Um, okay. Angel of Invention. Uh, so next turn we can kind of drop any of this good stuff that we've got. We do also have Day of Judgment. I don't plan on needing to use it, to be honest. Uh, but if they just drop some really good stuff, like, there's a good chance that we need to. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for this. I mean, I feel like that's reasonable. It has haste. We're going to hopefully get in for an attack. Now, they could obviously have plenty of, like, easy removal stuff here. So we'll see what happens. We can pay two life, though, to surveil, which I think is definitely worth it. Um, we will attack in with everything. Uh, they could also have, uh, whatchamacallit, settle. Um, which, again, good but not the end of the world. Um, oh, I definitely want that. Uh, I do think we throw this in the graveyard. I definitely want Fracture, though. Fracture is very good. Um, it's going to blow this up, which is helpful. <laughs> uh, we'll end the turn. Since we can't, we could draw off of the Mind Stone, but we can't then play the Fracture, so there's really no point in rushing that. Uh, I'd rather have the ramp on the field right now. Excuse me. Uh, so we'll see. We will see. Uh, it's an interesting deck. They haven't really done that much. 
I mean, they played a Resplendent Angel, very scary card, um, and they blew up a thing, which is all good stuff, don't get me wrong, but we're going to blow this up, just get that out of there. Um, definitely going to throw this out. Uh, we're going to spread the damage, and I'm all too happy to attack in here with both. Again, this is a mono-white deck, so we fully expect some amount of sweepers and things like that, which is part of why we haven't played Kalia yet, because this is going to allow us to pull a creature, at least one creature, hopefully, from the top of our list and kind of refill our hand here. So if they decide or they play Luminous Bonds, okay, uh, different, <laughs> very different. Um, so they can't actually tap this either. That's fun. Uh, let's do this. Let's keep our hand filled at the moment. So we're going to throw out Kalia. Cool. We get two things here. I like it. Uh, do we have another dragon in our yard? We do not at the moment. Um, I'll play this out. If it dies, it's a changeling, which just means we can get it back with Bladewing later. So I feel like that's okay. Um, it's also just stacking damage at this point. Like we're just... Pressure, 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 as much as we can. Um, and then that way we've got a very clear route to victory, whereas they still have 23 li life to go. And there we go. Guys, we did it. We are the best player in the world. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to game three. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, do we want to keep this? I actually think we do. Um, while we don't have white mana, we do have a spawn of mayhem and a ringleader here uh, that can actually do some major work. So we're going to give this one a shot. This is a turn three spawn, uh, which again, kind of makes it worth it. Um, and at some point, my hope is we will find some, some white mana here, uh, but we'll see. Oh, very mean. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's very good. They could, they've got plenty of options. And they took the one we can't play. That seems odd. Uh, I don't think I would have done that, but that's fine. Um, we're going to get this down. We're going to try and ramp as much as we can. Mono Black is very hand destruction focused naturally. So like we want to get some good stuff out of the hand here. Uh, yeah. OK, very interesting. Uh, let's play land. Let's play spawn. We're just going to power this out as quickly as we can here. Uh, it gains death touch until the end of the turn. Okay, so they could very easily just equip this. Oh, mean. Very mean. Yeah, sure. That was an interesting sacrifice. Um, okay. Um... What do we want to do here? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess we just throw this out. It's not very exciting, is it? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. We're not going to attack with the Guardian Idol because we do need the, the ramp here. A white land would not go amiss, as it turns out. Uh, this may very well be our last game, by the way, guys. We'll see how things go. Uh, if this ends up being a semi-long one, this will definitely be our last game. Okay. Uh, if they attack in, we just block. Yeah. That's totally fine. I will happily trade up. Uh, that didn't seem like a very good attack, to be honest. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, do that. Um, alternate costs. Well, now we just don't really have to worry about a lot of stuff. We do need to get Kalia down next turn, obviously. But we really need a land, because if we can get a land, then we can drop Kaya and just start blowing up some of their permanents, uh, which does seem pretty useful. Um, land has been a struggle. Uh, they do have Field of Ruin out. Not super scary for us anymore, thanks to fires. So that's kind of OK. Sure. All right, still didn't draw it. Um, asked. Whiff completely. <laughs> what is this? Uh, we'll activate and we'll attack in. 
There's no reason not to at this point. Uh, I can't believe we whiffed. That sucks. Uh, enter the battlefield, draw four cards, and lose. All right. Yep. Uh, definitely take action. Give me a land. Ugh. Uh, all right. Well. I mean, at least we seek something. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Do this. I mean, we're just here to ping away, I suppose, so... If we draw a land, we are doing okay. We're not golden, but we're okay. Um, I think we just take this out of the hands. I, I have no idea, honestly. This is a weird one. Ah, <laughs> oh, you got me with fires. That sucks. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and again, still nothing. All right, so let's do this. Uh, I will attack in with everything here. Their plan, I'm sure, is to suit this thing up. Uh, do we... I think we wait. The trick is, they can suit this up and then start doing their thing, or they can just play this. This is scarier, I think. Um, it looks like they do plan to suit this guy up. That's fine. We'll take a hit from it, and then we'll... Uh, we'll kill it. <laughs> um, there's nothing really else to it. Sure. That's fine. Please, a land, for goodness sake. Uh, or not. All right. This is insane. I can't believe we haven't gotten any land here. Um, it has been a while since we've gotten any land. All right, let's do this. This is the more effective play because it deals more damage, so we're just going this route. It's also more mana efficient, technically, so... I don't know what to tell you guys, we just started drawing land. <laughs> it was a bit of a sketchy keep, I realize, but I feel like this is a little excessive. Oh, they do sacrifice it right away, I forgot about that. Um, so they can just keep replaying this, but it gets... Oh, they put it back into their hand. Okay, uh, that makes sense. That's very cool. I mean, it's technically a land, so I will take it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That was weird. It is a white land as well, so, like, we can next turn. Next turn, we can actually play some stuff, but... Goodness gracious, what a... What an interesting time this has been. Um... Sure. I'm surprised that's the one that they... I mean, that's fine. Uh, Liliana's contract isn't looking too bad here, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, although, Kaya does blow stuff up and they have absolutely no pressure for Kaya. So I do think the the correct play is probably gonna be to start getting some of these things off the field. Oh, look! We found the land again. Uh, Alright, let's do this. We're gonna blow up a permanent. Uh, which one do we want to blow up? Uh, I think it's this one. It doesn't really matter. We're going to shoot for both, obviously, at some point, but they are going to complete a dungeon, I expect, uh, which is fairly scary. Oh, well, pardon me. Yeah, you got it. Uh, thankfully. <laughs> Let's activate this. That's one target non-token creature gains them. So this here. I'm gonna make sure I'm reading everything properly, and we're gonna get this out of here. Uh, we're not dealing with Lily. <laughs> uh, not the best long-term play for the opponent there, so I'm okay with that. Now Kalia or Kaya, not Kalia, is back up to three. So if we had to activate, we can. Does this complete the dungeon for them? Because they're, like, getting close, for sure. Alright, cool. They have to be very close. I haven't been following the dungeon very well. Oh, it's right here. Well, that's helpful. Um, Alright, they are one away. That's a... I mean, the Mad Wizard's Lair is very, very good. The trick is, if you don't have good stuff on top of your deck, it's not very good. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea. I'm very curious. All right, uh, I mean, I think we just play Kalia and see what happens here. 
Um, I do think that that's worthwhile. Oh, yes, please. Um, oh, they're both dragons. Oh, man. Which one do we want? Uh... I think it's probably just this. We need to kind of finish this game off here at some point. Uh, let's do this. Put a counter here. Um, okay, yeah. And then we can attack in. If this dies, we just get to replay it. So, freebie-ish. That's fine. So we get a 1-1 white spirit, and then we replay it. And again, Kaya is up to a decent chunk here. Uh, they do have the shadow sphere that they can play, or, or excuse me, equipped to this little guy, but it doesn't actually do that much uh, since we've got Kalia. All right. Well, now they do just have a three mana 5-5, five five, which is... Very good. Oh, they have Leyline of the Void. Oh, very good. Um, I mean, that's a very good card. It doesn't... It doesn't necessarily shut down what we're trying to do, but... Sure. Uh, yeah. Take it. Um, we also can just blow it up. <laughs> Worth noting. Um, alright. Angel, huh? Um... I mean, we've got some options. Uh, hmm. What do we want to do here? I mean, we can just play Kalia. Uh, alternatively, we could drop either of these two. Um, I think it's this. I'm just going to go for this. Uh, this is going to fabricate two. We're going to create a couple servos here. We will... Again, play this here, uh, because we can, and we'll attack him with both. If they want to block, they block. It's totally fine. I'm gonna leave this. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to, like, keep Kaya going a little bit here. I don't just want to, like, willy-nilly throw out that, uh, minus three. Wow! Okay, well. Yeah, you got it. Um... So they're gonna do that for five, I assume? But that does hit their own ley line. I mean, you got it. I can't do anything about that. Uh, yeah. Good thing we get a one one. <laughs> uh, I mean, we actually do still get to kill the Ugin this turn, so. All right, we did it. Wow, okay, we fought through an Ugin accidentally. That was kind of weird. Uh, let's chat about this. All right, uh, so Kalia. Um, kind of less focused on Kalia and more focused on the control elements, but it certainly did its thing. I mean, we we were able to do uh, some really powerful things with that deck. Kalia is a very good card. I, I like it quite a bit. It refills the hand whenever you need to, and because Kalia only costs three mana, excuse me, uh, it's not all that difficult to really get going with. Um, now, the deck itself obviously focuses, like I said, a lot more on control elements, so we do have a lot of wrath effects, we've got a lot of removal spells, got plenty of stuff to do, but it's teamed, thanks to Kalia, with a lot of very powerful angels, demons, dragons, etc. Uh, and even those mid-range or even low-cost creatures, we saw the little changelings kind of doing some work there. Uh, we're able to play it, replay it, thanks to things like Kaya. Uh, and then because it's a changeling, it obviously counts as whatever, so it, it counts for the Kalia. Uh, now we did whiff a few times. I don't know what the golden ratio there would be in terms of the number of angels, demons, and dragons in your deck thanks to Kalia. Uh, but regardless, it was really fun. I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, guys, make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. It does mean a lot. We've got plenty of other gameplay for you guys, so please go check that out. As a reminder, we are going to try and stream, I believe, today. It depends when all this updating and stuff is going to go on, so we'll do the best we can to kind of plan around that, but it should be a really good time. I do hope you guys will join us there over on Twitch. Uh, link is down below. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay. See you guys.